Hello everyone, it's me Ali, and welcome again to my YouTube channel Mask Leaks. Today I came up with another video to educate you all about spoofing, which is a type of cyber attack, and I will explain how you prevent it. So hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon and watch this video till end. So in the world of cybersecurity, there's a sneaky tactic called spoofing. It's like wearing a mask to trick someone into thinking you're someone else. Imagine receiving an email that looks like it's from your bank asking for your account details or a phone call appearing to be from a trusted friend requesting a favor that involves sharing personal information. These could be spoofing attacks in action. Spoofing is all about deception. Attackers manipulate data to impersonate a trustworthy source aiming to steal your information, money, or even your identity. They exploit our trust in familiar names, logos, and phone numbers to catch us off guard. But don't worry, understanding how spoofing works is the first step in protecting yourself. In the following sections, we'll delve deeper into different types of spoofing attacks, explore real-world examples, and most importantly, equip you with practical tips to avoid falling victim to these scams. Stay tuned and let's outsmart the spoofers together. Let me explain how email spoofing is incredibly common nowadays. It's like receiving a letter with a fake return address. Hackers can alter the sender's name and email address, making it appear as if the message is from a legitimate source. They might use familiar names like your bank, a social media platform, or even a colleague. These emails often look convincing, using official logos and mimicking the tone of genuine communications. They might urge you to click on a link, open an attachment, or provide sensitive information such as login credentials or credit card details. Falling for these tricks can have serious consequences, leading to financial losses, identity theft, or malware infections on your devices. Remember, vigilance is key. Always double check the sender's email address. Be wary of suspicious links or attachments, and never share sensitive information via email unless you're absolutely sure of the sender's identity. Well, remember the days when you could trust your caller ID? Well, not anymore. Caller ID spoofing is another trick up a hacker's sleeve. They use technology to manipulate the information that appears on your phone, making it seem like the call is coming from a local number, a government agency, or even someone you know. These calls often involve urgent or threatening situations. The caller might pose as a bank representative reporting suspicious activity, a government official demanding immediate payment, or a tech support agent claiming your computer is infected. Their goal is to scare you into revealing personal details or making hasty decisions. If you receive a suspicious call, don't panic. Never give out personal information over the phone unless you initiated the call and trust the recipient. If in doubt, hang up and call back using the official number of the organization or person supposedly calling. Let me explain you about fake websites designed to steal your data. So imagine typing in the address of your favorite online store, only to land on a website that looks identical, but is actually a clever fake. That's website spoofing in action. Hackers create websites that mimic legitimate ones often with subtle differences in the URL or design, to trick you into entering your login credentials, credit card details, or other sensitive information. These fake websites might offer unbelievable deals, require you to log in to access content, or display fake error messages to steal your information. Falling victim to website spoofing can lead to financial losses, identity theft, and even malware infections on your device. Always double check the website address before entering any sensitive information. Look for the padlock symbol in the address bar, indicating a secure connection. Be wary of websites with misspellings, 
grammatical errors, or suspicious URLs. If you learn a bit from this video, so please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more informative video on the, the topics of cybersecurity and depth of dark web. Stay tuned and take care of yourself. I will catch you all in next video, which will be in Urdu language, but I will create subtitles in English. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.